no two people are going to agree on every single thing all the time. Having different ideas and opinion is a part of what makes everyone unique. But when you do disagree with someone, it's best to do it in a respectful tone. Let's take a closer look. I think the most important thing for us to do first is to gather all our materials, see what we have and then come up with a plan as to how to build this boat. What? That's ridiculous. You're going about it all wrong. First we should have a plan and then go out look for materials. That doesn't make any sense. Why plan something without knowing what materials we have first? How do we look for materials if we don't know what the plan is? You're being so difficult. Well, that didn't go very well. These students didn't give each other any respect. Instead, they stuck to their own ideas, didn't listen to one another, and got frustrated and used disrespectful language. Let's try this again. I think the most important thing for us to do first is to gather all our materials, see what we have, and then come up with a plan as to how to build this boat. Oh, I had a different plan in my mind. I'll hear about your plan first and then I'll share what I had in my mind. In this case, instead of immediately getting angry and refusing to listen to her partner's idea, the second child decides to take a moment to listen to her idea. She doesn't immediately badmouth the other idea. Let's take a look at another example. Why did I get such a bad grade on this project? Let's take a look at the project requirements to see where you lost points. No, I already did that. I worked hard on this project and I don't want to change I want you to change my grade. It doesn't work like that. You're so unfair. In this case, the student didn't use a respectful tone when she disagreed with her teacher. She immediately got mad and started yelling. She refused to try to listen to what her teacher was saying. Let's try this again. Excuse me, but I was hoping we could discuss my grade on this project. Sure. What did you want to discuss about? I had a chance to look over the project requirements. I wanted to talk to you about the bibliography section. I think I deserve a higher grade than you gave me. You lost a point every time you wrote a citation incorrectly. I think some of these citations are actually written correctly. Let's take another look together. Now, it's possible that the teacher still won't change the student's grade. But at least now the teacher and student can have a calm, respectful conversation about the discrepancy. It's okay to not always agree with someone. In life, you'll find plenty of times that you will disagree with people. But the manner in which you disagree can make all the difference in how you handle these kind of tough conversations. <laughs>